All right guys, it's uh, battle report time. We're down at the club and today we're filming both armies together. So we've got Necrons versus Dark Angels. So I'll go through the Necron list first, which I've added some new things to. So we're running a battalion. So I'll start off with the Warlord, which is my Cryptek, who's gonna have the Warlord trait that makes him fearless. And I've given him the five up Invon save against shooting. Then second is a Catacomb Command Barge with a War Scythe and the Telsa Gun on the bottom and he's got the Veil of Darkness. Now for troops, as you can see I've painted up 20 warriors to give my army, flesh it out and make it a bit more blob worthy. So there's 20 of them and then I've got one, two, three five man units of Immortals. So that's the troops and HQs. Then in Elites I've got a 10-man Lich Guard squad with sword and board. Then coming across, I've got a 10-man Death Mark squad, um, WYSIWYG. Um, then I've got Triarch Stalker with the two Gorse Cannons on the bottom. And then in heavy support, I've got one, two Annihilation Barges. Now, the army-wide trait is Mephrit, by the way, as well. So everything within half range will get plus one to their AP. So that's 1,500 points in Necrons. Then we'll go across and check out what Trent's got today. So in his army, he's also running a battalion. So, f well, first up, he's, he's painted up this new model. It's not a GW model, but this is his, do you say Eversaw Assassin? Yeah. Kind of looks like Neo out of the Matrix, just running real quick. So he's in there. So, first up, battalion-wise, we've got Scouts, Boulders, Heavy Boulder, um, Intercessors, Power Sword, and grenade, same again, intercessor power sword. Then we've got two HQs, so we've got this cool captain with a sword and shield on his cool rock. He's been on the channel before. In the back here, this is going to be the warlord. Um, we've got the tech marine, he's going to be harvesting command points and giving one free reroll. And then uh, we've got Ezekiel. Then, obviously, the elite's detachment, so he's running one, two, Three dreads, venerable dreads, Trent. Yep. Yep, so las cannons and rockets. Then he's got the big guy, which looks like he's got Gatling cannon, plasma, and some storm boulders and the rocket on top. Then we've got a unit of incessors with plasma. And then coming over here, last but not least, we've got the whirlwind. So that brings you at nine command points, isn't it, Trent? Mm -hmm. Yep, and this one's got the strength seven AP one two damage shots in the whirlwind. Yep. Alright, so these have it. 1500 points of Dark Angels, all painted up with a new Assassin to test out today. And 1500 points of Necrons with some new um, bulked out troops. Alright, so we'll roll up a mission and uh, we'll get back to you. Nice Alright guys, so we've set up and the mission we've got is called Tactical Cascade. So we've got Dawn of War deployment in this uh, industrial city environment. So objective wise, on the far right, we've got one here. And then if we go across to the far left, we've got another one here. Then to the center of the battlefield, there is one here. Then if we swing around this building, there's one in here and apparently some scouts. Um, and then up here under these intercessors, there's one here. And the last one is over here in the pumping station. Oh, sorry. And there's one in the center. Alright, for deployment, Trent's got his whirlwind on the right hand side, then in here some aggressors and some characters hidden away. Um, then up here we've got an intercessor squad holding the objective, down here we've got the tech marine behind the big fella, then we've got dreadnought here, or venerable dreadnought I should say, then over here another dreadnought, venerable dreadnought, can't say it, and then over here. Now in um, reserves he has his Plasma squad that's going to fly down, a captain and an assassin. Now for myself, so on the far right, I've got two five-man squads holding this one. Obviously, this one's going to go get this one. Then over here, so we've got the command battle barge here with all these guys here. Um, Triarch stalker, 20-man blob with the cryptek in the center. Then one, two annihilation barges. Over here we have another squad of five guys holding that objective and then in deep strike reserve I've got a 10 man unit of death marks. Alright, so I've got the first turn currently but in the middle here Trent's going to roll to see if he can seize the initiative. And that's a five. So the Necrons will have uh, first turn 
and we'll see what we can do if we can't uh, get some objectives. Alright. Alright, at the end of Necron's turn, my movement, these guys stayed still. The centre of the board all pushed to the centre. These guys sort of stayed back a bit here. These guys stayed on here and these guys moved forward. Now cards wise, I got objective 2 and objective 4, but I didn't score any of them. But what it did do is, um, as you can see, there was a Redemptor Dreadnought over here. He's no longer there. So to start off with, I hit him with the two Gorse Cannons off the um, Stalker which resulted in 10 wounds on him. And then I used these guys at the front here and I took an additional six wounds or something like that off him with the Gorse Flayers, just with mass shooting. Then these two Telsa Destructors sort of shot at some Marines here and there, but didn't do anything. So that rounds up the Necrons turn one. See them all there pouring through the building and I'll let Trent have his turn and we'll get back to his. All right guys, at the end of De Dark Angels turn one, um, so well wind stayed still these guys stayed up here on this objective if we move around down here these guys come out of the building so we've got lieutenant librarian and aggressors these guys stayed in here then we move across this dreadnought did a bit of a move around here because he couldn't get line of sight or anything this dreadnought stayed still but he shot over here and killed one of my barges blew it out of the sky so that happened and then these guys ran over here so soon we're going to have a showdown in the pumping station the whirlwind shot over here and killed one of these guys too so as far as shooting goes um oh there was a smite into this group as well so as you can see there's one two three four five six seven left and that was the result of the aggressors some smite um bolt rounds from up here everything like that but due to me being fearless, I don't have to take any kind of leadership. So at the start of my turn, we'll see how many get it up. So Trent scored. Hold the line and first strike. So we'll have Necron's turn too. We'll see how many of these guys get back up and we'll see what we can do. All right. All right, end of Necron turn two. Uh, only four of these guys got back up and the guy over here didn't get back up. But in the movement phase, these guys stayed still. These guys ran over here. So... I nabbed myself objective two for this turn. Um, coming across here, these guys just popped out to shoot, but by the time everything else was finished shooting, they didn't get a chance to shoot because everything was dead. These guys moved forward and just blew the crap out of the um, aggressors, removing them. This guy blew the crap out of a lieutenant, but then these guys charged in to finish the lieutenant off and surround his equal, so he cannot run away. Um, but pretty much that's about the size of it. Um, what I'll do is we'll have Death Guard, Death Guard, <laughs> Dark Angels next turn and we'll see what happens. All right. All right, end of Dark Angels turn two. This stuff all stood still. Between all of this, they blew away this barge. Um, the whirlwind didn't do anything. These guys were used a grenade that's what finished off the barge, so it took two venerable dreadnoughts and this unit to finish the barge over here these guys moved up shot over into here um, then if we come down here the assassin and this guy come down charging into here they killed one and a half guys then I struck back and took three wounds off a Z kill so that this guy also for 3d6 charge rolled five in total all right so that's the total for the round so what we'll do is We'll go to Necron's turn three, and we'll see what I can do. All right, end of the Necron's turn. So, over here, we've scored objective two. Between these guys and these guys, we've killed two of these guys. Over here, this blew a venerable dreadnought away across the map. Um, these guys killed a unit of scouts that were in this building here. These guys finished off the guys that were standing there, the um, incept doors. Over here we cut down Ezekiel with ease. Um, and then there is nothing else. There was a bit of controversy about the charge here, but we'll move on with that. We've called it as the charge was failed. And these guys are still up here. So we'll get to the Dark Angel's turn and we'll go from there. All right, end of Dark Angel turn three. So starting with the Whirlwind, it killed a couple of Necron Immortals. Moving across to here, 
We had a grizzly thing going on here. We had never saw assassin charging here, chop up a heap of um, warriors. But on his way in, he actually lost five wounds to Overwatch. Um, then he attacked a couple of times, getting them down to the amount that you see on the camera. And then he blew up, killed a couple more. And that was about it. Then over here, we had a bit of an ongoing combat between the captain and these immortals here. Um, these guys just peppered some shots over here into these guys, but didn't do anything. Um, this shot into here, I put quantum shielding on, but nothing happened anyway. But then over here, these marines come running down from here and gutter stomped the uh, guys over here. Um, and that is it for the end of Dark Angels turn three. We'll get on with the Necrons. End of Necron, Necron turn, it's been a smackdown. So these guys shot across over here, blew away some of these guys. This thing shot over and snapped into a dread. And then the command barge ran in, smashed it, blew up, killed it, killed the engine guy. These guys shot up into the building here and killed everything but one marine. Over here, there's just the ongoing combat here. These guys combined sniper power. And these guys regenerated back to full health. Handy. All right, so in my turn, I nabbed objective one and objective six. And I also got warlord. All right. So, we'll get back to Trent's turn four and see what he can do. Get yourself a Necron blob. All right, guys. At the end of Dark Angel's turn, we're going to call it there because Trent only has this whirlwind left. He's captain on a couple of wounds. And these two guys over here, and he's severely outnumbered by all these massive blobs of guys on here. So pretty much we've worked out that he can't catch up on points. And he can't seem to shake this last guy here, so I'm just going to retreat out and shoot him with everything. So that's going to go pop, and it's just not going to work out. So if you've got a unit of the match, Trent, obviously this captain, because the Eversaw sucked. <laughs> yeah, the captain did a pretty good job of just, like, being a roadblock. All right. And the freshly painted unit that I did is still here on about 13 guys, so I'm going to give that the uh, man of the match, because that thing was just kept regenerating and shooting and regenerating and shooting, and with the Mephret... It was really good. I'm pretty sure I killed that unit at least once. Yeah, it's probably... we in numbers. <laughs> we've played a 1,500-point uh, game, but I reckon with three animation protocols, I'm about 1,800 points at the moment. All right, if you like it, subscribe, follow the Facebook page, all that other good stuff, and I'll get back to you with another battle report. Cheers.